Hello squad, welcome to week three of our lower body strength training session. We're gonna play this one, kinda groove and flow as we go. Uh, this would be the perfect workout to be doing in your luteal phase. So around days 20 to 28 in your cycle. So it's a phase right before you're gonna start your actual bleed. Again, if you're not cycle syncing, it's okay, you can still do these workouts. Uh, if you are cycle syncing in this phase of your cycle, you might feel a need to start to tone things down a little bit in terms of overall intensity. If that is what your body is telling you to do, I want you to absolutely 100% listen to that. We're going to try to again play around with some things today. For the most part, the moves will be the same, but we'll add a little bit of variety just to keep the brain fresh, uh, but the baseline will be just about the same. Okay. So we're going to begin down on the floor. We're going to actually start <clears throat> with our feet together and our knees nice and wide. And we're going to rock the hips back and pull forward, rocking back and forward. We're not in a full frog. We're actually going more towards like somewhat similar to a child pose without going all the way down with the head to the floor and then rocking forward. From here, we're going to take that right foot out <clears throat> and we'll do the same thing. If your inner thighs tend to be pretty tight, just give yourself smaller range of motion as opposed to something really big. We'll do three more right here. For three. For two. For one. Stopping, taking the right arm up towards the ceiling. We're going to wrap it through. Reach the left arm up. Hand to the floor. Unwrap. We'll do two more. Just three on each side. Sneaking it through. Reach that arm up. Hand to the floor. One more. Big reach. Hand to the floor. All right, let's switch sides. Left leg out to the side. We're going to gently rock back and forth. As we're going through this warm up, go ahead and check in with yourself. Where is your fuel tank at? And all the components that make up your fuel tank, start to think about those. How did you eat? How did you sleep? What's going on in your life? Where are your stress levels at? Of course, where are you at in your cycle? Centering, reach the left arm up, wrap it through, reach the right arm up. It's a little awkward, right? There might not be that much range of motion here, but that's okay. Taking this as it comes and as a bit of an assessment. Reaching through, back up, excellent. Let's meet in beast. We're gonna go ahead and lift up. Let's fire up the core here. So we're hovering. We've got a relatively neutral spine and neutral head position. We're gonna shoulder tap and then knee tap. Shoulder tap, knee tap. Excellent. Try to steady yourself, moving as little as you can side to side. Beautiful. Lower core pulled up and in. Two more. One more. And push back down dog. Ooh. Shimmy those feet out if you need to. Tilt your sit bones up toward the ceiling. Beautiful. We're going to pull forward. Push up. Right foot steps up. Deep runner's lunge. Push it back down dog. Forward. Push up. Left foot up. Big reach, two more on each side. Down dog, pull forward. Excellent. Down dog, forward. Big reach, one more on each side. Nice job, peel it open, hand to the floor. Rain it on back, forward, push up, step it up, big reach, stand tall. Let's get in some body weight squats. We'll just do about 10, and then we'll review what's going on here in that first round of movements. So neutral-ish position with the spine, inhale down, exhale push for two, three, good, four, Five, six, 
Nice job. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Feel free to sit nice and low. Give it a little pry side to side. All right. We've got a decent amount of work to get through. We're going to hustle and also listen to our bodies, right? So <laughs> this first set is certainly a doozy. It really is. Be mindful of your heart rate. Bring it where you'd like to bring it, right? But listen ultimately to your body. We are elevated. So pull this out a little bit more. We're going to try to be up on a step, okay? From here, we've got reverse lunge to a curtsy. Today, we're going to add on a little step off to the side. So we've got reverse lunge, stand tall, curtsy, stand tall, step directly off to the side to a squat, okay? Based on that position, that one off to the side, instead of having two weights at the side, I'm going to hold one pretty much in the goblet position, okay? Then we go into our side to side squat. What we're going to try today is we're going to squat, clean, squat, clean. So we're going to go side to side. It's going to be more of a hang clean position, okay? Uh, and we'll do 12 of those. Then we finish the round in our half kneeling, or sorry, our kneeling alternating thrusters, single arm thrusters. We are going to go for eight per side, so it's a lot. So again, we sit back towards the heels, press, sit back towards the heels, press. Last week we did just 12, so we are for sure adding on there. Find a weight that's suitable for you for a total of eight bar per arm or 16, okay? All right, so getting your weight out and ready. Remember on that deficit, both the reverse lunge and the curtsy, your back knee does not have to touch the floor, okay? It greatly depends on the size of your step, but it does not need to touch the back. It does not, excuse me, need to touch the floor, so find that range of motion that works for you, that's challenging, yet also feels supportive, okay? Again, goblet position. Let's see what six reps feels like on each side. Again, that's 18, really, so it's a lot. Here we go, step it back, push tall, curtsy, tall, off to the side, squat. There's one, reverse lunge, curtsy, off to the side for two. Three. Push. Four. Five. One more. Nice work. Six other side. Reverse. Curtsy. Off. One. Reverse. Woo! Curtsy. Off. For two. Come on. Push. For three. Beautiful. Four. Come on, five. Six. Great job. Losing my balance. All right. Start with that weight right below you. Feet together. Here we go. Step. Bring it down. Clean. Step. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, come on, nine, ten, and twelve. Beautiful work. Grabbing your weights. Dumbbells or kettlebells, totally up to you. Front rack position, start up. Here we go. One, two, 
three, come on, four, exhale up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, beautiful, last six, five, four, come on, three, two, one, 45 seconds, great work, two more rounds of that, legs are fuego, <laughs> they be burning, oh, did a big day of skiing yesterday, actually took today off, also that I can do it again tomorrow, so, Legs are feeling super strong and yet also pretty fatigued. Okay, get that weight up. We take off an eight. First side. Really important that you breathe through these reps. Three, two. Here we go. Inhale back. Exhale, push. Inhale down. Exhale, push. Off to the side. One. Two. Two, three, come on, four, push, five, come on, and six, stand tall, clear it out, take an inhale. Big exhale, inhale back, inhale down, push, step it off, one, your legs are so strong, you can do this, for two, beautiful push, three, come on, four, Let's go. Come on. Five. Woo. Six. Oh my goodness. That's hard. All right. Ready. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, come on, nine, ten, let's go, and push, beautiful, half kneeling, why do I keep saying half kneeling, we are fully kneeling, oh. Ready. Weights are up. Here we go. Whoa. One, two, three. Hey, friend. Four. Penny stop. Penny stop. Very good. Come on. Six. Let's go. Seven. Ten. Good work. Nine. 10, six more, for six, five, four, three, let's go, two, and one. Sorry about those barks. Mom got a package. I wonder what it is. 45 seconds. Promix. We got a fresh shipment of Promix. Yeah. If you don't know, Promix is my new favorite supplement. And it is the best protein powder 
that I've ever had because it is not super sweet. They're all so sweet and this just isn't. And so what I've been doing in the morning is if you follow along, I've been trying to not have coffee first thing in the morning. Let's get ready to go. So I'm doing mud water and I'm also mixing in a serving of the chocolate whey. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Here we go, last time. Let's step it back. Off to the side. One. Two. Three. Come on. It's hard, but we got it. Let's go push for four. Yes, ladies, up, up, come on, five, up, for six, clear it out, inhale, big exhale, let's go, off to the side, one, two, Come on, three, come on, four, push, five, oh, six, side to side. Clear it out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Hips back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on. And up. Great job. I wanted to add a little variety this week because truthfully I do get bored doing the same thing four weeks in a row, but that is one of the best ways for us to get stronger is through progressive overload. That being said, not all of us have the ability to go heavier with our selection of weights at home. So adding that little variety can help switch things up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I'll talk more about that in a second here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six more. Come on. Squeeze those quads, work them. We have five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, the other thing that I was gonna say is this one, that reverse lunge to the curtsy. We did, I believe, eight reps on each side last week and I just couldn't do 10, I couldn't. It was so hard last week, so we switched it up, added that extra squat, which was still keeping us in that pattern, but adding just a little bit of variety. All right, next up, moving right along. This is where we go into same side of the body, weight is gonna be held right here. If you can go heavier this week, I would really like you to try to go heavier. I'm going to try to pull out my heavier kettlebell. And our goal here is to be able to get in 10 reps. So if this is our starting position, we hinge and then we want to really <clears throat> soften that standing leg and squeeze up to the top. As we hinge and soften, we want to feel a good stretch. We want to feel the hamstring stretch and lengthen, yet also be under contraction. 
Okay, that's your goal. We do have 10 reps on each side. We then go into the really special reverse lunge to forward. Weights can be here or in front rack. We step it back, we step it forward. I've been doing my weights here. So this week I am gonna try that front rack position, but keep in mind, we then go into goblet, or sorry, front rack position, curtsy to overhead. And this week we are gonna try to do eight per side. So that's a little bit extra than what we've been doing. So it's gonna get, it's gonna get a little challenging here. I'd say this is our hardest set and then we start to ease out, okay? So we're about 20 minutes in. Let's fire it up. Let's continue to listen to our bodies. Tap in, drop in, feel into your breath, feel into your beautiful, strong legs that carry you through life, okay? These are your powerhouses, your weapons. Not in a bad way, weapons, but like in a good way, right? These are your powerhouses. Let's feed them right now. Feed them. Self-love, positive affirmations to yourself. You got this. Let's go ahead and pick that weight up. Oh, this is definitely heavier. All right, 10 reps, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, one more, 10. Beautiful work. And again, we are holding on to something, so we don't have to worry about balance here. All right, here we go. Second side. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, beautiful work. Square hips and 10. All right, we're gonna see how this goes. That's a lot of reps in the front rack position. Let's switch it up slightly. Take that right foot back. Let's do eight split squats here, and then step it forward, and then repeat on the other side. So it's a double set on each side. Just switching it up. Weights can stay down, hips square. Here we go. Tap that back knee, push tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're stepping over onto the other side. Tap that back knee down. One, two, three, four, five, six, come on, seven, big push. Set up for the first side all over again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, to the front. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, clean it. All right, we're set for our curtsies. Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. 45 seconds. 
seconds. Holy shit. myself here, but we might be thinking, there's no way. I can't do another round, but we can. We actually have two more, and we can do it. We know that we can always reduce our weights. There's ways to make it accessible if you're really feeling super defeated by it. Let's get that weight. Strong and steady here. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, ready. One. Two, three, four, five, come on, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Static split squat. First side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, first side, one, come on, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, here we are, one, come on, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Clean it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breather. Oh my God. 45 seconds. That's a hard round. Really good. Really, really good. Bring your heart rate down. Maybe get yourself some water. to forward, but I don't know anymore. I just don't know. 
First side, last round of this trio. Ready. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Really soften that standing leg. Get that hamstring stretch. Load the foot. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, I feel that. Big ten. All right. Split squat. First side. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, come on, two, three, four, come on, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, come on, five, six, seven, eight, clean it, we got this, ready, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, last eight, come on, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breather. Holy fuck. Great job. So good. Really great. We're almost through. We have staggered dance squat, 10 reps on each side. We're here. We squat. Push tall. 10 reps on each side. Then we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna go into down dog, knee to elbow, 12 reps. You all know what that is. Don't need to describe it. Final piece, side plank hip lift with abduction, static abduction, working the glute bead primarily of the standing or the lifted leg. You're also working your glute bead on the supporting leg. All right, clean it, goblet position, stagger stance, inhale down, exhale push, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
Come on. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Down dog. Knee to elbow. One. Exhale, forward, two. Protract your shoulders, three, four, come on, five, six, seven, eight, let's go, nine, ten, one more. Side plank, we got 10 per side. We're here, lower, one, two, three, you got it, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more, 10, other side, ready. Lower it and lift. One, wrapping. Two, three. Keep that foot flat. Four, meaning no toes up. Turn it flat. For six, seven, eight, ten. Forty-five seconds. Your girl is beat up right now. That is fact. Be up, yeah, so good. Side ramp, side topic. Do you or do you not wear underwear? I do not, except for when I am bleeding. There's this level of comfort and confidence with wearing uh, leak-proof underwear when I'm with clients all day. So that if I, I mean, I'm in spandex all the time, right? So if I do leak, I have that level of comfort. But there was a debate uh, on, not a debate, but it was brought up through an influencer that I follow. And it's a pretty, uh, people get pretty enthusiastic about it. I'm hard against underwear, except when bleeding. I'm just curious, where are you at? Not that it's any of my business. I just hate wet underwear with all that sweat. Anyways, here we go. Inhale down, exhale push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch it up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on. Nine, ten. Finding those three. Harder and harder. Down dog. All core here. Here we go. Exhale forward. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Come on. Ten. 11, 12, side plank, supported, leg up, inhale down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, come on, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Another side. We get a break. And then just one more round. One. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
Come on. Eight. I'm shaking. Ten. We have one more round. I'm going to go up and wait. We only have one weighted move here. Even though last round I was like, oh, those are getting really hard for me. I'm going to try to push myself in this last round. Let's wrap it up. Feel into your body. Feel into your breath. What is your body asking for right now? What does it need? What is going to nurture it and support it? Not degrade it, not take it down. So is that the weight selection? Is it the intensity of the movement? Is it the amount of repetitions? Is it your self-talk? All of those little pieces, right? Let's grab our weight. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna clean it. Stagger stance. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on. Switch it up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness. Down dog. Need elbow. One. Two, three, four, come on, five, six, seven, eight, beautiful, come on, nine, ten, eleven, so good, twelve. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, come on, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? Last one. One. You got it. Two. Two. Three. Four. Beautiful. Five. Come on. Six. Seven. Eight. And ten. Child's pose. Park those hips back. Walk your hands out. Big long reach. Phenomenal work today. Congratulations on wrapping up round or week three of your lower body strength. It is not an easy class, not an easy workout, not an easy training session by any means. Truly it's not. Step the left foot forward, send those hips gently forward, squeezing that right cheek. Pulling the core in, lengthening your tailbone for five, four, three, two, one. Back it up a bit. Grab the top of the foot, pulling towards your cheek and maybe possibly coming forward for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Releasing. Last stretch, other side. Gently sending those hips forward, lengthening the tailbone, pulling the core in for five, four, three, two, one. Backing up, lifting the foot, pulling the heel towards your cheek. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, good five, 
four, three, two, slowly release. Fantastic work. Newsletter will debut tomorrow, which is Sunday. I'm filming this class a day early. So you will have maybe some more details about what's going on. Truthfully, in this moment, I still don't know. I think I say that at the end of every class, but we'll figure it out. If you've paid for the month of February, which I know a lot of you have just renewed, uh, that will for sure be honored. So don't you worry about that. And uh, we'll make sure that you get taken care of, okay? Nice work, good sweat sesh, good training session. Nice job, ladies, bye-bye.